Your workflows require many custom steps. With Airtable Actions, you can automate those custom steps so you can spend your time focusing on what matters. Every automation consists of a trigger and an action. The trigger starts running your automation and causes it to complete the action of your choice. For example, let's say we want to create an automation that's triggered every time an approved campaign is moved to in progress. To create a new automation, navigate to the Automations panel and choose the Create New Automation button. From here, you can configure your trigger. In this case, we want to set off this automation every time a record is approved and in progress. Once you've got your trigger set up, you can choose what action your automation should complete for you. You can even chain multiple actions based on a single trigger. Keep stakeholders informed at key moments by sending a custom message through email, Slack, or Microsoft Teams. Let's say we want to send the Slack message to our Teams channel about our new campaign. We can choose the Slack account and channel where we want to post, then customize exactly what goes into the message using information from our base. Whenever a new campaign is moved to in progress, our team will get notified here and can click through to check out more details. Within Airtable, you can create new records or update existing records in your base automatically. Let's say we want to create the same set of new tasks for every new campaign. We can set up the create record action to do this for us with specific names and other information pulled from our campaign. Now, when a new campaign is moved in progress, these tasks will be created for us automatically, saving us time and giving our team clear action items as soon as a campaign is prioritized. If you want to do something even more custom with your automation, you can write your own script and run it as an action. Let's say we want to send a progress report every time we add a new campaign to the list. Here, we've written a script that pulls the full list of campaigns we're currently working on, so we can use that information in subsequent actions. Now, we can build an email that includes information about our new campaign, as well as the results of the script we just ran, summarizing the other campaigns we have in progress. This is just one example of what you can do with the script action, the sky's the limit. If you'd like your automation to send information outside of Airtable, you can choose from several external applications. Let's add a final step to our new campaign workflow, scheduling our kickoff meeting. We can choose to create a new event in the Google Calendar of our choice and specify details like name, date and time, and description. Moving a campaign to in progress will automatically set up our kickoff meeting for that campaign. Now that you've learned about setting up triggers and actions, go ahead and get started with an automation of your own.